Hi everyone, this is Mr. 13 Things and uh, trying a little different uh, way of doing this today. Uh, I'm going to call this a math video and it's following up on this concept of how do we put um, these two facts of uh, anything to the zero power, let's call it x, x to the zero power equals 1, unless of course x is zero. So x to the zero power, or any number, any real number to the zero power, um, is one. Or, or and the fact that zero factorial, so zero with an explanation point, is equal to one. How do we put both those things in the same spot in our brain? Because they're counterintuitive, but you reach them the same way. And that is, you reach them in terms of memory by successive division, if you would. And we'll start with the zero factorial because there is some value in going beyond x to the zero to x to the minus one, et cetera. So uh, we start with uh, three factorial. Three factorial is three times two times one. And that, of course, gets you to six. Now to go to two factorial, what you do is you take three factorial, factorial and divide by three. And so 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. And you divide by 3, and you're left with 2 times 1. Now, if you learn that only is 2 times 1, you get the same answer. But it doesn't help you in the next process to clicks down. How do you go from 2 factorial to 1 factorial? You take 2 factorial and divide it by 2. That is 2 times 1 times 0 divided by 2 equals 1. I'm sorry, 2 times 1 divided by 2 is 1. Fine, good enough. How do you now go from 1 factorial to 0 factorial? You take 1 factorial, which is 1, and divide it by 1. 1 divided by 1 is, in fact, 1. That's why 0 factorial is, in fact, 1. It's a big deal when you get into sequences and series. Take my word for it. By placing that kind of counterintuitive place thing in the same part of your brain as the fact of, for instance, 2 to the 0 power equaling 1, you get to a very deeper understanding. So now let's take and take a look at the concept of any real number to a power 2 to the 0 and what it means and how you continue down through 2 to the 0 power to 2 to the minus 1 and 2 to the minus 2, etc. All right, 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. 2 to the second power is 2 to the third power divided by 2 to the first power, or 2 times 2 times 2 divided by 2, that's 4. So you go from 8 down to 4. 2 to the first power is 2 to the second power divided by 2 to the first power. So it's 2 times 2 divided by 2, and that's 2. 2 to the first power divided once again by 2, you get... 2 divided by 2 equals 1. That's why 2 to the 0 power is 1. Because you go from 2 to the first power, and then you divide that by 2, and you get 2 to the 0 power. So 2 to the 0 power is 1. Now keep going through. Now you want to go to 2 to the minus 1 power. So you take 2 to the 0 power, which is 1, and divide it by 2, and you get a half. 2 to the minus 1 is one half because later on you see the minus means a flip from numerator to denominator. Going on, 2 to the minus 2 power is 2 to the minus 1 power divided by 2. 1 half divided by 2 is 4. There you have it. In one case, in terms of factorial, you go down to just to the zero and you stop. Negative numbers factorialized I don't think are necessarily real. Or maybe they're imaginary, but it's, you generally don't go through less than zero factorial. When it comes to powers, however, you go from 2 to the third power, down to 2 to the second power, down to 2 to the first power, down to 2 to the zero power, down to 2 to the minus 1 power, down to 2 to the minus 2 power. And you learn that very often in mathematics, you've got to look at how you come at things from the left and the right to actually get a true understanding of how they work. So, someplace in your brain, in your memory place, if you want to call it that, on a vision of important math concepts, you want to remember not just the rote, that 2 to the 0 power is 1 and 0 factorial is 1, but then how you get there in terms of coming, if you would, from the right side and dividing, 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 uh, in both cases. Thanks for listening. Hope this helps.